What's going on guys, give me a quick video talking about some new information I've found for both BF Pro and Franchise Mode in NHL 22. This info comes from the Game Informer article on NHL 22. They discuss a lot of the stuff we've already covered in previous videos. New Frostbite Engine, X-Factors, things like that, but there is some new information in here. Uh, one thing actually about the X-Factors, we learned that about 100 players have Superstar abilities, that's like the lower tier X-Factor essentially. And there are about 50 with zone abilities. Zone abilities, of course, is like the best ones. And some of the elite players will actually have both zone abilities and multiple superstar abilities. So, you know, you're with Davids, Matthews, guys like that. So that's pretty interesting, as I don't think we actually got an exact number yet on how many players are going to have X Factors. Now, after that, in regards to the stuff you guys are wondering, the franchise, the Via Pro. So, in this paragraph right here, you can see it says Franchise mode will also accommodate X Factors in new scouting reports, letting you scout pro and amateur players for them. X factors also affect line chemistry as you want to mix and match players' complementary abilities, trying to pair up the expert passers with the deadly snipers. So, uh, this is actually our first bit of news on how X factors are going to be used in franchise. I thought it might be like a potential system where if a guy scores a bunch of goals, he gets an X factor related goals, but um, it turns out like they're probably just the superstars will have their X factors off the bat. And then you'll actually see what prospects are going to have which X Factors. In the scouting report, I assume, you know, first round picks will have X Factors. Other prospects won't. Can they, you know, get an X Factor if they grow in rating? Say a guy who's low elite starts out at a 60, doesn't have an X Factor. Can he get one if he somehow ends up being like a high 80 or a 90? They're not too clear on that, but uh, you will learn about different X Factors in scouting reports. So uh, that is cool to see. Also, X Factors will affect line chemistry. So I'm actually not too sure how I feel about this one. I feel like there's already enough going into the line chemistry. You have the play style, uh, the coaching. The biggest thing, of course, is the player type. But, you know, it's like cycle, shoot, all these different things that you really can't control. And X Factor is another one. It's like if you just draft three guys, they're all shooters, but they're awesome players. Like, you think about it, I'm sure Tavares, Matthews, Ovechkin, they're going to play well together. Like, they shouldn't be getting a minus. So it's one of those things where I really do like the chemistry system, but... Uh, less is more sometimes. I feel like even adding X Factor to it, I guess as long as it doesn't take away, like if X Factor is just like a bonus on the existing chemistry, it's okay. But if you have three all star players, they all have, and because of that, they all have X Factors, you shouldn't get a minus on chemistry because your guys are so good, they have an X Factor, if what I'm saying makes sense. Um, lastly, here, the Beer Pro stuff. So, for modes like Beer Pro, your player will earn X Factor abilities throughout their career. Really cool to see they can actually get multiple X Factors in Beer Pro. Uh, special challenges to earn X Factor points and unlock more slots for them. So, again, just progression, you get your points, you get X Factor slots, you can probably uh, pick and choose as you go along. It's probably something where you can like unlock seven X Factors if you only have four slots or whatever uh, for them. Uh, it says in HUT, players with X Factors will undoubtedly be the most sought after player items. Uh, so, they'll actually, you know, Matthews will have his X Factor on his HUD card. Now this is very interesting. It says some cards will also have upgrade slots available to add a zone ability. So maybe Matthews and All-Stars actually only come with like the lower end X Factors of Superstar abilities, but then you can use a consumable item in a zone ability to add like that best one. I can't see them adding like more than one zone ability per player as in the regular game you get one zone ability. I can't see HUD getting two, but who knows, maybe for like the really good, you know, 90 plus HUD cards. Uh, you can get multiple zone abilities. I'm curious if that'll also go along with Synergy. It then says, and yes, X Factors will also make their way into Shell, which of course is World of Shell, uh, where you get one default zone ability, depending on the archetype you select. So everyone will have one in ESHL. You also have more ways to customize your skater, which is awesome to hear. As you can invest points, you earn into what skills you want within the specific archetype. So pretty similar to Be a Pro, it sounds like in EASHL. And we got a bit more information on Franchise of Be a Pro in this paragraph here. It says, fans of NHL's newest team, the Seattle Crack, will be happy to know they've been added to the expansion draft for Franchise mode. You also have still the ability to start your own expansion franchise, bringing the tally of teams up to 33. So I think in my one video I said how I'm pretty sure unless they take expansion out, you'd actually be able to play a new expansion team and be the 33rd team in the NHL, which could be really cool. I think adding the 33rd team could honestly be really cool for the video game. Real life, I don't think NHL should add a 33rd team. Also, it says how Seattle Kraken were out of the expansion draft, so um, probably similar to Vegas, you can redo the Seattle Kraken expansion draft uh, using the real-life protection list draft who you would have instead of Ron Francis, or of course, you can be that 33rd expansion team, so very cool to see both options are available. Uh, it also says in addition to the new challenges to earn points towards the X Factor abilities, Via Pro will now have multi-season storylines, so the fun doesn't stop after your rookie storyline. That is huge. I think probably the biggest feedback I heard on Via, Via Pro and NHL 21 was the fact that after your rookie season, you didn't really have much to do, much to play for, like all the coolest milestones, like first goal, Calder Trophy, first playoff game, making the NHL team even, uh, maybe your first trade, your first contract. It all pretty much happens in that first season. 
and if you're doing like a 25 year season you're basically getting like 95 percent of that mode's content in the first season now i do understand why they did that i'm sure the majority of people only play the first season they don't play multiple season be a pro but out uh, here they've actually you know invested some time into that mode and making it worthwhile the people who are going to put the time in to play multiple seasons uh, by adding new storylines like that's very cool now what those multi-season storylines will be i'm not exactly sure maybe they make a bigger deal out of your first real NHL contract once your entry level is over uh, maybe like your first big trade obviously it's in the game right now but they just kind of do that up bigger maybe you have like different suitors almost like lebron you know choosing where he went opposed to you just kind of going to a random team for the most part uh, maybe two like they make the smaller milestones a bit bigger as you're going through year two year three like first 100 goals uh, maybe an all-star game thing who knows if all-star games they would even be a pro but something like that would be cool maybe some off ice stuff there's definitely tons of possibilities so i feel like i'm optimistic about the mode but obviously we have to wait and see same with franchise you know we only heard a little bit about it here i'd love to hear a lot more especially about more of like the in-depth stuff in terms of the trade value realistic trades realistic contracts all that sort of stuff but uh, we are gonna have to wait of course on that information but that's gonna be it guys for this video hopefully you enjoyed if you have any questions um, about you know the news we've heard leave in the comment section below and as always if you did enjoy this one leave that thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet hit the sub button thank you guys so much for watching have a nice day goodbye